Hello guys, you're welcome to another brand new series. And in this series, we're going to be looking at the same application we built on the web to the mobile. And we're going to be using React Native to do this. Okay? So, what did we actually do on the web? We built, in the last series, we built um, a web application where we can be able to manage our contacts. So basically, here's the register, here's the login. If I log in, I'll have access to seeing all my contacts. So let me log in for this particular user. Uh, I can't even remember the names. Let me check my DB. So I'm going to go to contact manager and uh, contact. And we have messiagmail.com, not contacts, users. Desmond at gmail.com, password of password. So I'm going to log in with this user. Desmond at gmail.com, password of password. Login. And yep, Desmond has one contact. Um, I can go on to add a new contact for Desmond. So I'm going to say Restunia and Brendefera, just some gibberish words. Breda at gmail.com and um, phone number is this and um, now if I click on add contact contact saved successfully now if I head over to view contacts you can see that that new contact has been added and I forgot to add an image so we can go over to edit and in edit I can choose a file so I'm going to choose let's see let's see let's just pick this image I don't know if I have this image, so let's choose Kunaguero or Lionel Messi open. And I can contact has been updated successfully. Now, if I go back to view contacts, you're going to see that image there. I can also search for a contact, Restonia. Alright, so this is what we built in the last series, which was basically a web application. So we want to translate this same thing down to mobile so basically down to um, react native or basically down to a mobile application and we're going to be doing this using react native so let me just log out and get back to here so what and what are the things that we are going to be looking at let me log in here so i'm going to enter my email of another user and then password is going to be password and now once i log in he is logged in successfully and all his contacts are being loaded. So you can see now that we can view all the contacts. If I scroll down to the end, it's going to load more contacts for us. Um, we can also add a new contact here. And we can as well as log out from here too. Now, um, not just that, we can edit this contact. We can delete this contact. We can view the contact. Um, not just viewing the contacts, we can say call this particular contact um we can also let me go back let me go back again yep we can send this contact a text message yes right now we can also send a mail to this contact we can compose a mail for this contact and um, not just that we can also search for a contact so basically those are the major things that we are going to be looking at so for this series i'm going to be using react hooks a lot of the times because in the last series, I used React um, class-based components, and I got a lot of comments of people talking about using hooks. So sit tight, and let's get into this from the next video. Thank you.